Reverend Billy here. Hello. Ten years. Ten years later. Well, like thousands of people, I was among the people who went straight to Union Square. We were the cultural first responders. Amen. And we just gathered there, and we didn't quite know why. There was a gravitational pull. And we just, we were crying and praying and standing there with a candle, doing nothing. And gradually, things kind of coalesced. There, there was a perimeter of white media vans from independent media and European media, and there was no police crossing that barrier. Amen. And so we kind of... After two or three days, all the peace marches that went towards Union Square, uh, from Union Square towards Times Square, from there every night, well, we became a place that just meditated on peace. And things started coming in from all over. Diaries and little feathers and beads and, and, and 60s peace John and Yoko covers. And, and of course, the the copy shop color photos of the missing, the loved ones would, 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 would show up every day with stacks of them. and They were on every lamppost and bench. And, and, and then every night we would leave towards Times Square. We had these talking stick circles. We would stand in circles and try to figure out peace, try to figure out peace. And then we'd sleep there and in the morning, the post office people would show up with more things. They were just coming from somewhere in the world and they were just labeled, the address was New York. <laughs> and I remember there was a, a saddle from West Texas Cheerleaders Association or something. It was just, just this saddle. There was no box. It just said, it just said New York. There it was. We'll put that underneath George Washington's horse. Every night, the talking stick would go round and round and round, trying to coax the peace out of us. We felt that between the crashing towers and the bombs that were waiting in the wings, we, we, we felt that there was something we could do. It was palpable in us, peace. We, yes, there's something we can do. It, isn't everybody expecting us to do something here? It's not coming from our mayor. Peace. And you get the talking stick and you just, you just, you just wait for that peace to come out. As, a, as, as words, as a, as a song, as something. And the weeks went by, and then... And then Afghanistan, remember the night vision, that green night vision picture on the cover of the Times, and bombs started falling. And the phone call, I got a phone call from the Parks Commission. Hello, Reverend. Well, uh, look, uh, I just need to tip you off here so you're not upset. Four o'clock this morning, volunteers cleaned up the park and all the flowers and candles, all the, what about the pictures of the missing? Yeah, well, that's all, uh, that's all been taken to humidity controlled vaults in the Smithsonian for humanity's sake, for the historians, Reverend, you see. So we don't want you to protest now. This will be something that we can look at in years to come. Well, then what happened to the peace? Is the peace in the humidity controlled vaults too? I guess we're killing each other 10 years later. We're still. Peace, Alleluia. Thank you.